Good evening YouTube and welcome back to the farm. Since I'm unable to work on the quill while I'm waiting for a new one to arrive, I figured I'd go and attack the throw out bearing here on the clutch and see what I can do about that today. You know, get it off, clean it up, replace the throw out bearing and, and get it ready to reassemble. So let's get to work. Yuck. It's all rusted on the back side. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's it's flaking off. I think I need to pay attention to this. These ball bearings need to be cleaned up. Well, now that we've got the throw out bearing assembly off, we're gonna go and clean things up a bit. Wipe all the grit out. It's got three big old ball bearings in here. And uh, they look like they need a little bit of love. And the back side of this because of all the mouse poop and everything that was in there. Uh, <laughs> it's quite rusted, so I think you can figure out what comes next. Yeah, well, ball bearings are pretty clean. One of them's got some stains on it, but other than that, they look fine. No sweat, no problem. I think that little piece needs to come out. Of course, it's the wrench I don't have on me. Now let's see if this is going to cooperate. Nope. 
Okay. We're gonna not gonna mess up another one. Got that part out. And I think it needs to go live in the power washer for a while. Get all that crud loose. So I can knock it knock it out. Here we go. Well, now that that's in the parts washer, it's going to be in there a while. I turned on the circulation pump, so it's got some circulation going around it. And uh, meanwhile, I figure I ought to clean up this other hardware that goes to it got some new springs so most of those are all going to get replaced yeah I'm going to go clean this stuff up on the wire wheel Now that I've gotten the uh, assembly out of the parts washer, it's been there for about an hour. I want to go and try to gently pop this thing out with a hammer and an old socket. There we go. We're moving. It's moving. There we go. Well, that part's apart. I get to go and put it back in the parts washer. So, yeah, it's pretty grungy and rusty. And you know what that means. We're going to be taking some rust off. And, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to get this thing off of the bearing. Shouldn't be difficult, though, right? Shouldn't be difficult at all. Just like that uh, oil seal. What are we going to be difficult at all, man? Not hard. Not hard at all. Now, where'd that thing go? Wouldn't you know it? It's just about the right size. I said gently, right? Okay, the old crunchy uh, throwout bearing is out. 
And by crunchy, I mean you go and try to roll it, and it it, it sounds downright crunchy. Yeah, that definitely needs to go in the parts washer for a while. Okay, well, we're making progress. Slow, but we're actually making progress. We're back with the ultrasonic cleaner. I went and snagged some of my wife's 30% vinegar. Don't tell her. We'll discover it later. And uh, as I've said before, this is some pretty caustic stuff. And you don't want it on your skin or your hands for very long. You definitely don't want to get this stuff in your eyes. There we go. Now that's fresh, clean vinegar. And I got my parts. And we're going to dunk them in here. And hopefully that will clean them. Just a little bit more. Now we're going to set the timer. Well, now that uh, we've gone and gotten all this stuff cleaned up on the wire wheel, got rid of all of the rust and the crud, that's pretty much ready for uh, rust treatment here. And I'm going to use some Permatex rust treatment to get this stuff taken care of.
now we get to wait 24 hours again. Thanks for hanging out with me on the farm today, getting a couple little things done. As frustrating as it was, but you know, life happens, stuff happens. This will be ready to install pretty darn quick. After 24 hours, I'll go and clean it up, polish the inside of it a little bit so that it slides back and forth real, real easy. And uh, it'll be ready to install back on the crawler. Thanks for watching. You can come back and see us.